today we're going to talk about a dimension of human risk management that is discussed a lot, security culture. Hello, I'm Andrew Rose, Chief Security Officer at SoSafe, and welcome to another episode of Exploring Human Risk Management. So what exactly is security culture? Well, I believe it's the collective mindset and behaviours around cybersecurity that everyone in the organisation, from the top down, should be embracing. Now, anyone who's heard me speak before knows that I constantly talk about BJ Fogg's behaviour model, where behaviour requires motivation, ability and an external prompt. And it's still very true, and I'd recommend that you read Professor Fogg's research. However, I also believe that it's possible to make this model even more efficient. Now, with a strong security culture, that external prompt can become internalised and people can self-prompt themselves to do the right thing because that's what's expected. So culture goes beyond just the right tools. It's about creating an environment where security is embedded in everyone's mindset, supported by continuous training and open communication, and a positive atmosphere that encourages reporting and the addressing of vulnerabilities. At SoSafe, we've taken this a step further with our behavioural security model. Now, this approach places employees at the heart of any cybersecurity strategy, and we recognize them as crucial defenders, not just potential risks. Our model is built on four key dimensions, knowledge, context, motivation, and behavior. And together, they enable a proactive security culture. But integrating these dimensions strengthens your security defense, making your organization not just aware of the threats, but ready to act on them. So in wrapping up, it's clear that the essence of a security culture is so much more than just policies and systems, and it can definitively create the foundation of an effective human risk management strategy. Please stay tuned as we explore more insights in human risk management.